So guys, today on Minecraft Bootcamp, what I'm going to teach you how to do is make an ME system. They actually replaced all of those stupid chests that you have in your base. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need. This is all we're going to need, guys, for the very, very first part of this tutorial. Okay, a quick description of what some of this stuff is, guys. This is called Nether Quartz. It pretty much defines itself. It's nether quartz. It comes from the nether. That's where you get this type of quartz. The nether quart dust, it's the same thing. It comes from the nether. Uh, this is your regular quartz you'll find underground, and this is the regular quart dust that comes with it. Okay? So, to get these two, the nether quartz and the nether quartz dust, you have to go to the nether to get those. First thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build our quartz cutting knife. So, simple pattern, right? Two sticks, one iron, two quartz. There you go. Once you have this, I want you to just basically put it somewhere in your inventory. The next thing that we're going to do, guys, is run over to your induction furnace and throw in four pieces of Certus Quartz Dust. Remember, guys, do not use more than four if you're going exactly to this pattern. After we put our dust in the furnace and we have our four silicone now, take that silicone and put it into a pattern like this. This is going to give us three basic processor assembly. The next thing we're going to do, guys, is throw your diamond in there and make a diamond one as well. Okay, we're done with the cutter pretty much for now. So let's go. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to throw those into the furnace. Let's make those really quickly. Pretty easy. Let's get to the fun part, shall we? The next part that we're going to do is we're going to make a ME controller. Now, to make an ME controller, we're going to have to make these flux eye crystals. I don't know if that's the word, but that's what we got to make, all right? The pattern is one regular quartz, one nether quartz, and one redstone. So that's going to leave you with one of each of the quartz, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go on and put all this together and make our controller, shall we? There you go. Made our controller super easy, ready to go. After we made our controller, we're going to go on and let's make our ME access terminal. For an ME access terminal, we're going to have to do this pattern. Let's jump right in there. In order to build our ME access terminal, guys, we have to make one of these conversion matrixes. That's the first step in getting it. So we're going to have to make some dust. This dust is made the same way as the flux eye crystals, just in the dust, just with dust instead. So there we go. We've got our six dust. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the ME cables. Basically, take those three dust that we just got, include glass, and we should get three of these. And that should do it. All right, so that's the ME controller and the ME access terminal. Last thing we have to build, guys, we have to build the ME drive. This is what's going to hold our drives. It's a really, really simple pattern. A couple of iron, two of your, the last two of our processors, and a chest. So let's make our chest really quickly. Let's put that there, the two processors like this. And there we have it, guys. The ME drive, the ME access terminal, and the ME controller. Don't forget, if I did that a little bit too fast, this is what we have to do to make our ME drive. So now that we have all three pieces, guys, what we need to do is give it a power source. And this is where a lot of people get confused. There's two ways of doing this with our setup. One, we can hook it directly into a geothermal generator, like so. As you can see, it's slowly charging up. Our other option for charging it is actually hook it into our redstone energy conduit which is a lot lot better it'll give it a lot more power than your geothermal generator but for this episode guys we're just going to keep it connected to our geothermal generator now another way of still using the geothermal generator and getting more power is just to add more geothermal generators or something say high voltage electricity and mfsu you can hook those all in using fiber cables we won't go into that guys i don't want to confuse you just remember, guys, either you can hook it into your geothermal generator or into the energy conduit. Afterwards, guys, the placement of these two extras don't matter. The only thing that matters is that your ME controller is hooked into a power source. All right, so let's just throw them up there, shall we? We'll put the drive above it, and we'll put the uh, access terminal right there. There you go. That gives us full access to the access terminal. Now, another thing to remember, guys, is I could actually put the access terminal connected to the drive and vice versa. It basically acts as a wire itself. Things that are wired through it will basically be connected. So instead of doing that, I could do the uh, access terminal and then I could put the drive. 
the placement of this does not matter. So, if you follow the tutorial, guys, you're probably ended up with a setup something like this with your ME controller, access terminal, and ME drive. What are we going to do from here? Well, what we're going to have to show you how to do now is to actually make the drives that will basically store the items. Let's step outside, shall we? Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to teach you how to build your ME drives. The drives are important because the drives are actually what stores the data. And, well, what stores the items in the... In the box. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make a couple of these. There are four different types, I believe. There's a 1K, a 4K, a 16K, and a 64K. Let's not get into the 16 and the 64K. I'm just going to go on and teach you how to make the 1K and the 4K. So... Things we're gonna need. So this is what we're gonna need, guys. All right, let's go on and take all of this out. And all we're gonna do, it's super, super easy, guys. Put your gold in the middle, put your quartz around like that, put your redstone on the four sides, and there you go. You're gonna get a storage cell. And after you have your storage cell, put that in the middle, place your three iron on the bottom, two glass in the top like so, and then the redstone right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that is a 1K drive. Well, what this is gonna allow you to do is it will hold 1,000 of one type of item or 63 different items. 63 types of different items and also it will hold a mixture of items like cobbles like it can hold 500 cobblestone and 500 dirt and you could just get it gets really in depth as the next thing i'm gonna teach you how to do is make a 4k drive to make a 4k drive you're gonna need just a couple more items you're gonna need three of those storage cells that we just taught you how to make three more iron seven more redstone one more basic processor and three more glass Ta -da. And this here, guys, is the pattern I'm gonna want you to put those items in. Just like this, that's gonna give you one storage segment. Now, the storage segment is different because it's the different name. Storage cell, storage segment, GG, well played. Take your storage segment out, put it in the center, just like we did before, throw in two glass like so. Three iron at the bottom, three redstone, just like that, guys, you're gonna get a 4K drive. Now, I will say that pretty much the 16K and the 64k are just as easy to make you just have to keep doubling stuff no it's doubling or tripling you just got to keep tripling stuff up so after you have your two drives guys all you're going to do you're going to run inside and then put them inside your me system like so what that's going to allow us to do is basically store things inside of our me system now yay not too shabby guys and this is a very very helpful thing to put in your world because it's like a storage system on crack what do I mean? Well, it eliminates chest altogether. And if I needed to find something, let's put some stuff in there real quick. All right, guys, and once you have those items in there, basically all you're going to see is that as long as this says sort by number of items, it's going to go from highest to lowest. So if you have a crap load of cobblestone, it will be at the top. In this case, I have clocks because I'm, I'm a boss like that. And at the very bottom, we have a leather helmet. And that's how you get to stack numbers high to low. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make your Emmy system. So, without further ado, and without any more delay, thank you for watching, all you wonderful, wonderful people out there. Welcome to Legion, all you new people. Don't forget, guys, please like, share, and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it. Why? Because it really matters. It does. It helps us grow our family, guys. It helps us grow our family. Have a great day, guys. Don't forget, if you like this series, definitely check out Minecraft Minis. Talk to you later, guys.